Hi, and in this tutorial I'm going to try and teach you how to make a dream glow kind of blur effect and also an edge detection effect in Cinelera. They're both fairly basic video effects that are available in a lot of programs that aren't available in Cinelera as standard, so I'm going to try and teach you how to kind of spoof them a little. This isn't a really basic tutorial, so I'm going to assume that like you know you know how to uh, drop a clip onto the timeline, that kind of thing. If you don't know that, then there are a bunch of really great tutorials out there that will show you how. Um, either you know Google for it, search for it on YouTube, um, or where you go. Uh, for this effect, we need two tracks, and we also need to have exactly the same clip on both tracks. So the first thing you need to do is change the overlay mode. So you see this white triangle, press that, go to addition, and immediately you see that's a lot brighter, um, which I actually like as a simple way of brightening a clip anyway, because I, I think you, 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 you it's not as grainy as if you're using the brightness contrast or gamma or whatever, but you do get a lot more control in those effects, so there you go. Um, now if you go to video effects, blur, and put the blur on the top one, now, the screencast quality isn't great, but hopefully you can kind of see that that started to affect a kind of brightened, blurry effect. And if I increase it, you'll be able to see it better. As you increase it, you do get some fading at the edges, but it does also increase the blur kind of effect there. Um, you can also put the blur on the lower one. I, I like the effect better on the upper one, but you know, it's, it's almost identical, to be honest with you. Another thing you can do is if you go to Divide, that gives you the edge detection effect I was talking about. Um, and again, you can go all the way from almost having them entirely in colour to having really very little of them at all. Just kind of, it's a lot more like the classic edge detection effect there, which you can increase. You'll notice these little symbols here. You get those if you go to view mode to make them disappear, make them come back. That's the keyframing for the different overlays, so you can actually keyframe those. Um, and also if you go to max, again, if it decides to, yeah, there we go. Um, again, I'm not sure how, how much you're going to be able to see here, but you kind of end up getting kind of a sort of strange kind of dreamy effect as well, though it's a lot darker, so I don't like it quite as much. But there you go, there you have it. The only thing I would mention is when you blur it, you want to make sure that you have red, green, blue, and you want to make sure everything is checked in here. Otherwise it, it won't work properly or it'll start looking strange. And, and that's it. That's all there is.